Good morning. My name is Marjean. I am Dr. Saber's assistant and I am completing some paperwork and then I'll be right with you. What is your name? All right, Carmine. And uh, do you have a last name? name? Oh, pardon me. I do you just have the one eye then? Oh, uh, well, uh, so just the one name then and the one eye? Are you a... Oh, I, well, please pardon me. I, I thought that they were mythical. So they're real. Oh, my God. My goodness, well, uh, would you just give me a moment to get used to you? Uh, let me just look at you for a moment so I can get used to you, if you don't mind. That's not meant to be offensive. Uh, I just need a moment to take in uh, uh, that you're a cyclops. I, I uh, had no idea that they existed. Just the one eye. Um, so, uh, well, you look like you're in good condition, uh, very strong arms. Um, what's, what's the issue with the eye, the one eye then, um, Carmine? Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness, yes, all right. Well, we wouldn't want to have that with just the one eye then, would we? No. All right. Uh, Date of birth, if I might ask. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, you look very good for your age. Very, very good. Um, right, okay. So, um, let's see here. Uh, uh, date of birth. Are you allowed to tell me where you're from? You do seem a little bit private. Uh, all right, sure. Uh huh. Oh, is that? Uh, uh huh. Oh, so not even, not even this planet. Then I see. Uh, well, uh, this will be my first time uh, with a cyclops and with uh, a non-earthling, if you will. So. Um, uh, if you don't mind, uh, I'm going to just start by uh, spraying some solution here on this little cotton pad, all right? It's very gentle, and I'm just going to rub uh, around the outside of the eye, uh, if that's all right. Uh, just very gently, all right? Does that feel good? Good, yes, you just relax. Uh, this is my first time, so it could be that uh, I uh, get it wrong a little bit. Uh, it looks like you have the two ears. Uh, is that typical for a cyclops? Good. Uh, so hearing is very simple. Is the vision in the one eye uh, unusually good. Go ahead and close it now. I'm going to stroke over the entire eye. There you go. Very good. Yes. There we go. All right. Just very softly. Yes. That is pleasurable, isn't it? It's very calming. Most of Dr. Saver's parents, or excuse me, patients, I uh, really enjoy this part of the process, so I'm glad it's pleasurable to you, Carmine. All right, the next item I have is uh, to just take a little, um, we call this a Q-tip, and I'm just going to dab the one eye uh, and take some um, uh, of the, of the um, fluid in the eye uh, for an examination. Uh, and then I'm going to get another Q-tip 
and just dab that around the eye, which should also uh, calm down some of that inflammation. So first, if you don't mind, I'm going to go to the corner here. All right, here we go. You're doing very well. And I'm just going to very lightly dab it. Excellent. All right. And put that in the dish here. All right. And then uh, I'm going to just dab lightly around your eye if that's all right. Of course, normally I do the two eyes, but uh, it's going to take half as long with just the one. That's an advantage, isn't it? All right. Just you relax, okay? And here we go. Uh, so, uh, you know, do a lot of people here know about you and know that you're, uh, uh, you know, a cyclops living here on the planet? Do a lot of people know that? Hmm. All right. You don't tell a lot of people. I can appreciate that. And uh, what kind of treatment have you had? I'm just going to run this right down the middle if you want to close that eye. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, yes, sometimes people can act a little funny when you're different. I mean, it caught me off guard for a moment when I saw you. Uh, but you just need a moment to take it in and, and think, all right, this person's different from me. That's all right. Uh, and, um, and sometimes when we visit for a minute, we find out that we're not so different after all. So uh, I would love you to tell me anything you'd like to tell me about yourself. The doctor won't be here for another few minutes. So um, tell me, do you have any family here or are you on your own? You're on your own. Uh, and that can be lonely at times. Do you do all right with the loneliness? Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, yes. Uh, people can be very rude and unkind at times. Have you met some people who are kind and accepting of who you are and where you are? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. That's very good to hear. There are lots of good people out there, but sometimes you have to search a little bit and put yourself out there to find them. Uh, and I can appreciate that uh, being a Cyclops, that complicates things a little bit more. Uh, but I'm glad that you give it a try. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. All right. Uh, oh. Well, that was, that was an unfortunate experience. Um, what's, what's a nice experience that you've had? Where somebody's accepted you the way you are. Mm-hmm. There's somebody out there, right? A few people. Great. And uh, tell me about that. A, a good experience. I'd love to hear it. Uh-huh. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice, yes. Mm hmm Well, you know, I would have to ask special permission from the doctor because normally we don't interface with our patients a whole lot, but uh, I'm wondering in this instance, since you are an unusual uh, case, um, and uh, also because you're a little new here to the planet, uh, that perhaps I could get special permission to, uh, to take you around a little bit and show you some of the sites and, and to help you meet some of the people around here because there are some very nice people. I have some very good friends that I think you might enjoy hanging out with. Do you like coffee? 
I do too. I'm glad. I'm glad you've given that a try. It sounds like you're putting yourself out there and trying some things. Uh, and are you vegetarian or you are carnivorous? Uh, well, we do have some um, we do have some good steakhouses around that you might enjoy, uh, and uh, I can refer you to some of those uh, as well. Um, all right, let me just, uh, I'm going to get permission from the doctor, and I think I can hear him coming in the back there. So you just sit tight, you relax, and uh, I'm just going to stroke your forehead a little bit, all right? Uh, I think that's all right, and uh, just let you relax a little. It can be very unnerving to be at the doctor's office and an eye doctor, especially with just the one eye, I can imagine. So you just uh, take your time and relax, and I'm going to go talk to Dr. Saber and see if I can get permission and also kind of prepare him uh, so he doesn't overreact when you first come in the door, because I think it's easy to uh, be a little shocked surprised, if you will, when, when somebody sees you for the first time, because they're not used to seeing Cyclops on this uh, planet, or certainly not in this office. So you, you make yourself at home, and I'll be back in just a little bit, all right? All right, Quarmine, you sit tight. It's good to see you. Glad you came in.